Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a totally tubular couple in love that loves reacting to some Total War Warhammer. Totally tubular. Yep, I, I kept it. I kept it from the last one. It's gonna stay. That's it. This is this is this is what I'm gonna do every single time I'm reacting to Total War Warhammer. <laughs> is that from like Wayne's World or Bill and Ted? Where is it? I, I don't know exactly where it's from. I don't know. It's like a the 80s thing or something. I think. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe Bill and Ted's. Uh, who knows? I don't know where I come with half of half this shit I talk about. <laughs> So we're reacting to uh, the Total War Warhammer 2 cinematic trailers. Um, it's not going to be all of them. Uh, though the video that we have right now is older. It's like 2019. So it's up, that, that's how much it goes up to. So any that we missed, um, go ahead and let us know down below in the comments. And uh, you know, either give us the full name if YouTube won't let you post the link for the videos that we missed. And we'll go try and try to check them out at another time. Um, we also are going to see the Total War Warhammer 3 trailers uh, in February before uh, you know the game comes out. And if you want to see all of our Total War Warhammer reactions, go ahead and check out the description of this video. Get ambushed. Mm -hmm. They look like the Dark Eldar. They look badass, but definitely the Dark Elves mm -hmm. type. It's a freaky breastplate he's got. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, I think it was them. Oh, sweet! The lizard men! They have their own job of the hut. Yeah. Let's just kill each other. <laughs> it's a bet you were all destroyed theirs. Okay. Power? 
Yep. Poof. No. They're super close. They are. Unarmed, unarmed! Oh! Did you get? King Army. Dragon's ass. No, poor dragon. <laughs> From the 
dawn of time, these must be worlds have known no peace. The new world, home to the most ancient of rivalries. In the old world, cultures clash, and ever the threat of chaos looms. Now these collide. Wars will be fought across unimaginable distances. Now is the time of mortal empires. Blood. It defines us. It connects us. All oh, these explode. Divides us. What? Okay. We cannot escape it. No matter how we struggle, in the end. It is all we are, and it is to blood we must return. Yep, they are returning to blood. I just want one person to scream, Mortal Kombat! Blood for the blood god. Nice title. Full of yourself. What you will find is my chaos. It's death. Egyptian? Ancient Egypt vibes. Yeah. It was very much like the god of Anubis, but instead of a dog head, he had a crocodile head. I see the same vibes. It's like the mummy. The of a Tomb King's army were not terrifying enough to behold. They are often accompanied in battle by towering stone constructs. 
The Necrosphinx is a combat behemoth, using its vast weight and immense blades to pulp and cleave through its opponents. The Kemrian War Sphinx is a more versatile anti-infantry mm. construct, acting as a mount for skeleton archers or powerful heroes, but it is no less terrifying to behold. Even in a tabletop, I think it'd be passive. Because, like, fearless and statuesque in proportion, these the living monuments are emblems mm, to the, the glory of the like, having to and its greatest that. and most vigorous defenders. That'd be very cool. Mm -hmm. Serpent constructs. Among the many battlefield constructs created by the Tomb Kings, none are as sinister and terrifying as the Knights and sepulchral stalkers. Ridden into battle by fearless Nehekaran warriors, Necropolis Knights are purely serpentine in form, piling armor piercing melee attacks with deadly toxins to demolish heavy infantry. With the body of a serpent and the powerful upper musculature of a man, the sepulchral stalker is adept at taking down larger targets and can focus its transmogrifying gaze into powerful ranged attacks. Staggeringly fast and unnerving beyond compare, the serpentine constant. I don't know why this guy's voice just sounds fake, like in a heartbeat. It sounds like Terrence and Philip, like when they try to do a Canadian accent in South Park. Like it sounds like a character. The Bone Giants! Well, they're really pumping up the rise of the, the Twin Kings. Giants are mighty statues of venerated heroes and ancient kings, known to those foreign to the lands of Nehekara as Bone Giants. Carved by the ancient civilizations, the Bone Giant was formed in the image of a giant skeleton to match their obsession with death and the lands beyond. On the battlefield, this hulking mat of stone stands as tall as the Hyro Titan, but brings his deadly range capabilities. Wielding an enormous stone bow, the Bone Giant can fire magically charged arrows the size of four men, hundreds of meters in the distance. Engage in melee with this creature at your own peril, as its colossal bow makes for a formidable club. Light elves versus dark elves. Hello, sister. Hmm. The queen of the crow. Okay. Introducing the sister. The sisters of Avalon stand watch over some of the most sacred sites of Orphalon. Trusted handmaidens of the Everqueen herself, 
The sisters stand vigil against the darkness, lighting the skies with mystical bolts of brilliant blue flames. The tips of their arrows are said to set tainted flesh alight as they purge the corruption from their enemy's skin. The Sisters of Slaughter are first amongst the gladiatorial guilds and have earned their veterancy through a life of bloodshed in the arena. Pledged to the elven god of war, Eldrazol, the Sisters are fueled by pure instinct on the battlefield and, in a fraction of a second, can unleash a furious flurry of attacks from their cruel whips. It's like a bunch of Melinas. Started very poorly. Pirates. I was one. But now we are many. To sail the coast, hunt down those lizard trinkets, and we will find them. <laughs> Vampire Coast. Good name. Yeah. The self-obsessed Madame Captain of the Lamprey was not always a terror of the deep. When traveling from her homeland of Britannia to Orthoan to sing for the Phoenix King, a devastating storm threatened to delay her arrival. Fueled by impetuous arrogance, Sinostra Diaphin performed a solo mutiny, throwing the captain overboard and commandeering the ship and crew. Felled by her own hubris, the ship capsized. However, refusing to allow her talents to perish in the black depths of the seas, she returned as a vengeful spirit, hoping that she might finally perform to the Phoenix King in her deathly court of the drowned. Hmm. Silostra has mastery of the law of the deep, dragging those who oppose her to a watery grave that they might finally rise again in her service. Strategy game of titanic proportions. Total War Warhammer 2 combines a turn-based open-world campaign and intense tactical real-time battles. 
Immerse yourself in a vast, fantastical world of vivid landscapes and terrifying beasts. Engage in statecraft, diplomacy, exploration, and grow your empire turn by turn. Capture, build, and manage teeming settlements, and recruit vast armies. Level up your legendary lords and heroes, and fit them with mythical weapons and armor. Negotiate alliances, or declare total war to subjugate any that stand between you and your goal. Command thousands strong legions of soldiers in intense tactical battles. Send forth ferocious, twisted monsters, fire-breathing dragons, and harness powerful magic. Utilize military strategies, lay ambushes, or use brute force to turn the tide of combat and lead your forces to victory. Play how you choose. Delve into a deep, engrossing campaign. Experience unlimited replayability and challenge the world in multiplayer with a custom army of your favorite units. Choose from four unique, varied factions and wage war your way. Four races, four outcomes, a single goal. Save the world or destroy it. Man, so you don't get to play as like the crazy mummy Egyptians or the Vampire Coast ones? You don't get to play those, those four? Or maybe this is just maybe that's just a the game. base game. Yeah, like maybe yeah. that's just a preview for those four. Okay. All right. So what do you think? I'm really interested in the Tomb Kings. Yeah, I knew you'd be interested yeah. in the Tomb Kings. Um, I think those are really cool. The the Pirate Coast one was also the Vampire very, Coast. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the Pirates of the Vampire Coast, I should say, were also really interesting. But you know, I mean ancient Egypt, so that's, yeah. So That's I, where my heart lies. So I knew those were gonna be. Uh, I knew the Tomb King one was gonna be your favorite uh, faction that we that we saw. I just didn't know which the second one was gonna be. I could see the va the vampire ones, uh, Coast being like number two for you. I mean, those are probably the most interesting. But I would say, like, if I was if I was picking who to play as, the Queen and the Crone stuck out in my mind, and I thought the mm. Queen was very was very interesting. And I didn't latch on to anyone as strong as I did when we watched to the first Total War mm. Warhammer, where it's like the Undead Army, I was like, okay, yeah, that's, that's the one, that's the one I want I want to go for. I'm, I'm kind of right, right on there with you, with the the Tomb King. I think that army's probably my favorite, and so interesting, and so many d different cool, like, like, giants that they got on their, on their squad. The Lizard Men are fun. Um, that would be, a, that, that would be a cool uh, army to, to play as. But I also, for some reason, like, liked the, the dark elves or whatever, the... The evil elves in bikinis. The evil elves in bikinis. So, you know, the, there's there's that one as well. I guess when you, when you put it like that, I can see why I like the, the dark elves. Well, because I was just thinking they look like they're wearing the Princess Leia getup from Return of the Jedi. Again, I can see why I like <laughs> the dark elves now. When you put it like that, I'm just like, oh, it's like you're like ripping out my subconscious and like telling me all the things. You make a great therapist. Yep, that's all I really need to say after that. Um, the, the Vampire Coast one, like, why are they hunting treasure? Like, why do they want the treasure? Like, They're like, pirates. But they want, they said to make them whole. And so is it, like, kind of the whole, I don't know, Pirates of the Caribbean thing where, like, they're trying to, like, you know, they need to collect all this treasure in order to to undo the spell that they've, they've been cursed with. Um, hopefully Maybe. it's a little, little, little cooler than that, but we'll see. Let us know uh, your favorite factions, uh, the ones you play with, and, um, yeah, down below in the comments. And get ready for Total War Warhammer 3 trailers uh, in February. And if you, in case you like skipped our intro, because a lot of people skipped the intro. We obviously didn't do all the Total War Warhammer 2 trailers. Uh, so there are some that we missed. Um, after, anything after 20, 2019 we, we're, we have missed in this one. So go ahead and let us know down below in the comments the trailers that we missed. We'll catch them at another time. I don't know if we'll get to them before we get to Total War Warhammer 3. We will try our best, but you never know. Uh, thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Total War Warhammer 2 cinematic trailers. But just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.